Yo, what's up everybody? It is Monday. What day is it? It is the 26th of August. It's a beautiful day. It's cloudy, it's overcast, but it feels amazing outside. Let's go ahead and get that out there. Like you couldn't ask for a better morning. Um, sleep wise, coming off a little bit of lack of sleep. Little guy still uh, sick, still got that fever. So Kelsey actually took him to the doctor this morning. Um, right before my, my run that I went out on, um, she ended up taking him to the doctor. He's got some type of upper respiratory type thing, but he's had that fever for almost like two and a half, three days. So they went ahead and put him on some antibiotics. So hopefully we're gonna get that guy taken care of. Kelsey's still really sick. She's coughing up stuff and just coughing all the time. So I'm doing my best to try to avoid all that and try to take care of them at the same time. Um, I just needed to move this morning. I was feeling really funky. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night just be between Baron crying and Kelsey coughing all night. But uh, I knew I wanted to go outside and still just kind of move around some. Uh, so I did a new interval, um, ended up getting seven miles in this morning. I had to fit it in between the uh, 8.30 class and the 10.30 class. So I ended up doing four rounds. It was supposed to be five rounds initially, but I was getting really crunched on time just because I, I, I took my time getting through the warm up. I just, man, I wasn't really feeling it initially until I got going. Uh, so I had to cut an extra round out of this actually. So it ended up being four rounds of uh, 1200 meter run, rest one minute, 800 meter run, rest 30 seconds and then a 400 meter run and then after the 400 you take a three minute rest break so that would be one round so i ended up doing four rounds of that and that's six miles total so if that's one and a half miles per interval four rounds of that that gives me six miles um and i really wanted to get that seven so um as soon as i got done with round four and that three minute rest break on round four i just went ahead and went right into a one mile run not necessarily a max effort but i just want to kind of see what i had for a one mile straight through at that point after running six um, because my intervals were, were pretty fast as far as what my race pace is. We are signing up for uh, another 10K. I think it's in about two weeks, uh, two or three weeks. So I wanna see if I can bring that 10K time down a little bit. Um, so I ended up doing seven miles total today in 49 minutes and seven seconds. So basically about a seven minute mile, um, which is great. I mean, because that's much faster than my race pace, much faster than my anticipated race pace. So, and that was the whole point, you know, run 1200, expect the pace to fall off a little bit, take a quick break, hop back in an 800, start out fast, expect the pace to come down maybe a little bit and then finish out with a quick 400 and then take a longer rest break and try to recover. So uh, pretty happy with all that. I think most of them took, I tried to do the math. Um, I think interval one was, a, so it was 10 minutes and 54 seconds for a one and a half. Interval two was 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So I was able to bring that down a little bit. Minute three, uh, 10 minutes and 17 seconds. So I was able to knock it off even more. And then that last interval, interval four, really I could just feel the heaviness in the legs. Uh, that was actually 10 minutes and 27 seconds. So I added 10 extra seconds on that one, but not a big deal. But I did finish out um, that one mile run. I actually finished that in 659. So I was super pumped with that. Um, just to know mentally after six miles, I, I can still dig deep and I still have that endurance and I still have that stamina to just kind of push through if I need to. So pretty pleased with mileage Monday. Still got the miles in, got seven miles in. Uh, what last week we did eight miles, um, kind of similar. It was uh, every 20 minutes for four sets run two miles. So this time it was four sets, uh, basically run a mile and a half in intervals that way i could run a lot faster so we'll do something later on in the week not really sure yet we're gonna see what the training looks like for the rest of the week um we've got some heavy squats today so we got four by seven at 75 percent i'll probably have to do like last time and just kind of back off that a little bit maybe even go progressive off feel so we'll see we'll see how the rest of the day goes um i'm actually going to be able to make it over to kel high school and hang out with the fellas they've got a heavy squat session today um, since kelsey had to take off and stay with the baby since they're both sick they can't go to school so um, I'll check on them at some point. I'll head over to the school, um, check on the kids, shoot back over, coach the four, and then we're going to hop in the 530. We're going to get some squats in tonight. All right. I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to check you later.